Hello again, and uh, welcome to another Moonbug video. Uh, if you've not seen the first video in the series, uh, please go and look at it, as it provides the background information on exactly what the hell I'm trying to achieve, and this will make a lot more sense to you, hopefully. Right then. Uh, great, I hear you cry. Uh, you've created something that can roll off the end of the runway at the Kerbal Space Center, but how are you planning to get the whole thing to the moon? Uh, some sort of crazy origami folding, or uh, some sky crane deployment, or any other kind of overly engineered, overly thought out technical thing? Nope. I'm going to land it on its backside, because if you look at it, this whole rear section is a fuel tank. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a decoupler on the back there, and then one of these inline stabilizers to give it some torque while it's landing, and if I can find it, the little dinky LV909 engine. Strap it all together with a fuel pipe. I have too many parts, by the way. I need to really start making use of the part search feature that I've got installed. Uh, right then, we'll put a makeshift module on there so we can find out exactly what's going on with the fuel levels. And we'll introduce some fuel and some oxidizer to this back tank, which gives us a rather healthy 1,203 meters per second of delta V, which is quite a nice amount. Further on with the encapsulating it, we're going to need another decoupler on the bottom here. And I use procedural fairings. Uh, I don't use uh, ferromerous based research, but I think it makes a nice, it's a nice look. And uh, if I just turn this around here and then introduce the conic fairing, you can see it fits quite nicely in there. I quite like getting these quite tight, so we'll see how small we can make it before it. That's poking up the sides. Uh, there we go. Maybe a bit more. Perfect, beautiful. This is going to wobble like nobody's business in there in this frame unless we sort of strap it down. So I'm going to put a strut connector. Oh, someone's already had the idea. There we go. That'll prevent it wobbling, and then we'll close up the the capsule. The, uh, the fairing and there we go really it's pretty straightforward gets it to the moon uh, I've created a large rocket as well the, the big lifter which uh, well, that's already got a fairing on there we go uh, this is basically just uh, some 3 meter parts uh, some extra mod engines it doesn't have a particularly high thrust to weight ratio off the pad but it does the job it gets to the moon uh, and that's it really that's how I plan to get these to the moon hopefully the next video will demonstrate the actual landing so you can see more of what I'm talking about thank you